What's going on guys, DT Fang back again with another episode of Farm Sim 22. Today we're going to be doing a brand new map. We're starting Ashton Corners. So I just pulled up in the old pickup truck, got the Kubota little sidekick in the back. We're going to go ahead and open the ramps and get that uh, out and start getting, getting at it. There we go, there's the ramps coming down. Let's go ahead and hop up here and nice and easy down the ramp. There we go. Make sure if you like today's video, you do give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it. And leave some comments down below. That also helps out the videos, helps out the channel as well. Maybe leave a comment on what you think of this map, how you've been enjoying some of our wacky videos lately, stuff like that. I'd appreciate it. So this is the farm uh, for those of you who, who have not seen it. Uh, it's a really beautiful farm done by MRG. Just bought all this land, so... We've got already, we need to get a combine. We don't have any equipment yet. Only thing I've really bought is a tractor down at the store. So why don't we run down there and pick that up and bring it back with a couple of other things that we're gonna need. I'm gonna pull into the old store here and my tractor should be out there ready to go. Yep, I went ahead and got a small one for the blower. So I, I went ahead and got the M5 uh, Kubota. I'm a big fan of Kubota, if you can't tell with all the orange in my shirt. So let's go ahead and hop out, whoops. Actually, let's leave the tracker where it is. Let me see if I can connect to this blower with the with this bad boy. I think I can. Back her on up. I mean, I can't run it, obviously, with this. Let's try about right in there. Go ahead and hop out. Yep, and we'll go ahead and connect that up. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and connect it up. Pull it on back to the shop. Or to the farm, I mean. Yeah, and as you can see, this is a beautiful farm. It's uh, based off of a real-life location. I believe it's in Wisconsin. Guys, comment down below. Let me know if I'm right or not. I can't remember if it's Wisconsin or where exactly it is, but I believe it is. All right, we're going to pull it up under... You know what? Let's just do... Well, no, let's do the one at the end. I'll have more room for that one. Get as close as we can. Now, we may have to, you know mess around with this a little bit once we get completely set up but there we go right there it's going to drop down a little bit when i disconnect it but that's okay i wonder if i may have to go over here to disconnect it i wonder if it'll still let me i'm not actually sure if it'll let me yep it did all right let's hop back in and i think what i'm going to do for the rest of the equipment we're going to go ahead and use the store deliveries mod uh just i wanted to show you some of the farm and some of the driving around to start with but Let's go ahead and get that farm deliveries mod. Uh, just got to find a good place because we're going to be having a lot of equipment here. Yeah, this will probably be pretty good right here. So let's go ahead and do the store deliveries about right here. Go ahead and hop out and to do that. We're going to hit control, shift, and S for store deliveries. And we're going to do it as close to us as we can, which is right there. And you hear that click. That means that it's going to spawn right there, whatever we buy. Let's back this up a little bit, get it out of the way. All right, so we got our immediate need out of the way here. We've got a combine with the old 2388. We've got a corn header for it and a and a bean header. So let's go ahead and hop on in. Get her fired up. Oh, listen to that sound. That's a good sound of combine. Now, this is a mod, of course. This is not stock game. But let's go ahead. First thing we're going to need is to get that wheat uh, out of the way. So let's get the... Okay, there's that. Let me hop out and get the wires connected, hoses, and the the PTO. All right, we are good. Let's go ahead and get her on over here where we're going, which basically to start with is right here. So this is pretty straight field. Um, we are going to go ahead and set up our GPS line just to get it. Well, actually, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a headland pass first. But I'm not going to do that without getting a trailer first. So let's go ahead. Let me hop out, turn this off, so I can go ahead and unfold it. Let me go ahead and unfold it just to make sure that we're good there. All right, it's unfolded. Let me hop out, and let's get a trailer to dump this in. All right, so we got our new tractor delivered here. I figured I'd go with something different, not something that everybody uses. We're going to go with the International Case 7488. 
it is an articulated tractor and it's a lot of fun to drive so we're gonna go with that one so i'm gonna unhook this here and let's go ahead and drop it back down yeah we need to move this tractor over to the silos and get the blower connected and hooked up ready to go Okay, hop out and hook this up let's see here should be able to do it from here yep and then that i can see if we can get it under where it needs to be there it is let's back her on up here and about right there we hop out go ahead and attach here there we go and go ahead and get the cable in there for brakes all right that should do it so we are ready to go whenever we get back around and get a full load let me go ahead and shut that one off let's get back in the combine and get to making our headland all right we're doing good we are dropping straw uh because i did buy or i'm going to buy a baler as well um so we can get the straw ready because we need to get started on uh preparing for cows because that is what we are definitely going to be doing i do love cow farming it's one of my favorite things to do in farm sim i just like the aspect of making the silage and getting all the bales together all that kind of stuff and guys i'm actually an idiot this is uh oats not wheat kind of hard to tell sometimes the difference between the two because they look almost identical but yeah this is oats so we're getting oat straw so even better i think oats tend to sell for a little bit more so we should get a little bit more money out of them coming up to the first pass here we're going to make this turn around the corner continue on uh we are as you can see well, actually you guys can't see uh but we are using precision farming so we'll get a little bit better result once we get these fields taken care of basically from scratch you know the normal way that we would do them and see what we can get for yields uh we should should be doing pretty good all right we are wrapping up our first pass here gonna just about be done with the headland then we'll get our uh, gps line set up and get going on that that'll save us a little we're at, at about 71 percent so i may go ahead and empty this actually i think i am going to empty it right when i'm around this corner and complete the headland pass i'll go ahead and bring the pipe out that way we can empty it and go ahead and dump it into the yep let's go ahead and bring her out about right there leave her running let me hop out go get in this other tractor here fire up this case this is a love i love this case it's just something different anything that's different i really enjoy you know because you get playing farm sim for as much as we do you know you get things get stale after a while and you don't want to play it because there's nothing nothing super duper about it but, all right right about in there let's go ahead and dump this out all right let's go ahead and get back in get our line set up now that we're empty go ahead and turn off the beacons again Whoop. turn off the beacons and we're gonna get set up i think that one's a little crooked if i'm not mistaken let me see what it looks like on the map yeah that side's crooked so we are going to go and set up over here. All right, so this is definitely not straight, but I'm going to go ahead and set the line this way. Um, it's just easier to get it in 90 degree increments, you know, 090, 180, 360. It's just a whole lot, or 180, 270, 360, sorry. Uh, it's just a lot easier to manage with the GPS. So we're going to go ahead and get this lined up. We'll turn around, come back down, and line up for another pass. All right, starting on our second pass now, and yes, I know pipe should always be out, but with these short little passes like this, it doesn't actually hurt anything to do it this way because I know I'm not going to fill up. I mean, literally, I'm at 3%. All right, back at it, going the other way here. Basically, we're just going to go ahead and get most of this field done if not all of it but we also need to check on these other fields i think i'll actually you know what after this pass i'm gonna hop out take a look at the other fields and we're gonna come up with a game plan all right so like i said we're at the end of this field here so i'm gonna go ahead shut her down for a minute let's go check these other fields uh we got grass here and that's ready to harvest this should be just regular corn and that is i can forage this right now uh we got more grass here uh, more corn and then grass and corn again, I believe. Yep. All right. Here we have actual oats again. So we've got two fields of oats. 
We've got the alternating field, which is 18, and that goes back and forth between corn and grass. Uh, what's our big field here? We've got a big field number 31. All right, and yep, this one is corn as well. And is it ready to forage? It is not. So this field is not ready to forage yet. All right, so we've got all our equipment here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get everything hooked up. And oh, looks like we got a little sideways on that because of the electricity box. Yeah, we can fix that. All right, we've got her all hooked up now. Let's go ahead and get down here and start get some of this corn. All right, there we go. She's a spinning, and let's go ahead. And we're chopping corn, boys. Yeah, I can't do this one in a first-person view. It's just too narrow of a... You can't really see the header hardly at all. And the edges. Well, you kind of can. But... This one I prefer to do from the outside to get everything uh, a little bit more lined up there. You know, I will say these fields are a little bigger than I thought they were. Uh, and the good thing, though, about this being grass uh, is I can turn around in it without damaging it. I like the fields when they're like this because it's uh, just something different instead of just straight, plain old fields. I like a field that's not perfect. You know, and like with this uh, forage harvester, I'm not going, there's no GPS, nothing like that. You know, you just kind of go along with the contour of the land, and it's, it's a little bit more entertaining that way sometimes. All right, guys, we are coming up to the end of the pass here. Uh, it looks like the sun's starting to go down. I am running out of time here, so we're going to go ahead and end this one there. If you did like today's video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate it. Until next time, DT Fang, we'll see you on the next one. See ya!